This is a prophecy. Guillermo Maldonado with King Jesus Ministry shares encouraging prophetic word for 2019. He covers many different points, one being that this is the year of the mega shift. Watch now. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. Well, this is amazing, these prophetic words that are coming out. Listen, God does not do anything unless he reveals it prophetically first. He lets us know in advance what he wants to do. And some of the words that have been given, like I know Dutch Sheets was given a prophetic word that God has a thousand barges of ancient anointed oil, oil that's going to be poured over this nation, that great awakening is coming, that as we've been declaring that, dear God, end abortion, send revival, send a third great awakening. The reason why we, we pray that is that we've got to stop the innocent bloodshed to be able to have the third great awakening. And yeah. so God is even doing that when you're seeing you know, everything being stirred up over those particular issues. But this prophetic word, John, break it down. Yes, yeah. listen, there's some some key things here the Lord wants to yeah. just encourage us with. I know it agrees with my spirit. Where you and I were just talking the other night about uh, what we're hearing from the Lord, that this year is, is a tremendous year of shifting for the church yes. at large. Global uh, shift in major. the family. Yes. Yeah. And so... Um, Which makes moving as the church easier because if, if I'm correct. your brother, you love me. Yeah. If I'm a stranger... Although you're supposed to take me in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just a little challenging. Yeah, a little challenging. Yes, yes. Well, we want to hear straight from um, Apostle Guillermo as, he, as she shares what the Lord gave him for 2019 and see if it bears witness of what the Lord is showing you. Take a look. Hello, everyone. I wanted to share with you uh, about 219, what God is saying for 219. Uh, and when I'm saying God is saying um, is God doesn't move in years. God moves in times, uh, seasons, and and cycles. God, you know, can a cycle can last two, three years, four years. So we can say 219, this is the only thing God will do because we can't limit God to what I'm saying or what anybody else can say. This is what the prophets and apostles that are hearing God in the now are declaring. And some of the things that I declare I, I in my personal life, I lived it before the year starts. It's something that God started talking to me. And some other apostles now in the earth that I'm hearing God and prophets that I'm hearing God. Number one, let me share with you and declare that prophetic word. 219, 19, the number 19 is the number of faith. So this is the year where you will enter and come into a great faith. Not an, a, a, a mustard seed faith, but a big faith, great faith. This is the year that I want you to start believing things that you never believed before. This is the year you're going to start believing crazy things, you know. Number two is the year of a mega change, mega shift. There's something in the spirit. I remember I was ministering in Las Vegas and I heard this in my room. There's a mega shift taking place in, in the spirit. Again, three times, a mega shift is taking place in the spirit. I heard that three times. So there's a mega shift taking place. Are you ready for the mega shift? Number three, there's a new economy coming into you, a new economy. What do you mean a new economy? Well, you've been struggling, you've been fighting, and now this is the time God is saying to you, there's a change in your economy. There's a new economy coming into you. Number four, I fulfilled the fulfillment of promises, prayers, and prophecies. This is the moment and this is the time when you will start seeing those prayers that you made for salvation in your family, for healing, for something you were expecting, this at the time, receive that. Number four, you will see an intensity of an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. In other words, the Holy Spirit is moving around the earth and upon the earth. So this is the moment you can see that outpouring in your own life. Number four, unusual manifestations of the glory, the presence, and the majesty of God. I'm expecting, I'm believing for that. Number four, or unusual favor and access. There's a lot of people there saying, I need favor, I need access with people in government. So God is releasing uh, favor and access with people, places, and things. Are you ready for that favor? Number four, the suddenness of God. Something suddenly is unexpected, expected. Something will come upon you this year. So please have that expectation of a suddenly of God. And number four, there's an anti, I'm gonna repeat again, the southernness of God. 
something suddenly sudden is coming upon you are you ready for that and number four there's an end time harvest there's a great end time harvest of souls that we've never seen before so this is what i declare this prophetic word upon you now the year of the faith the year of mega shift the year of new economy the year fulfilled promises and prayers we're so excited about our new book, I Will Fight Strategies for Your Success. You gotta have a strategy and you gotta fight. It's not about a physical fight, but you gotta fight. And guess what? If you fight, you win, you'll be successful. This book is about transforming your thoughts, about what your beliefs, the decisions that you're making, about speaking, what you say is so powerful, and what you do, what you're saying, the actions you take. And quitting, don't quit. Listen, success and failure quite often is just five more minutes. And finally, think about this. So many people talk about you should do this and you should do this and you should do this and look what they're doing. They're not doing nothing. You can't let people tell you you should do this. You should. As a matter of fact, they can't be putting their should on you. This is so important. Listen, we want to bless you with your free copy of I Will Fight Strategies for Your Success. You can get it at vfnkb.com. That's vfnkb.com. Get your free copy today. This is the year fulfillment. Although yes. you four several times, we break, we break it down for you. We think about it. You know, the first thing that he was talking about. Yeah, 19, the number of faith. Yeah. Which is interesting because yes. you just finished teaching on this. Which works is, of faith. Can't wait to faith. be sharing that soon on the program. Yeah. Yeah. So powerful. So yes. 2019 is a year of faith. Also, the year that will come out, a the church will come into a great, greater faith, yes. which we're seeing. Right. Uh, two. It's the year of mega change and mega shift. And one of the mega shifts that we've talked about on a program earlier, a different program, was uh, that, a, that it's a global shift into family. Yeah. That, that the church that welcomes Jesus back is going to be family. Brothers, sisters, mother, fathers, welcoming our Lord and Savior, Jesus yeah. Christ. And, and when our father says, go get him, son. Yeah. And so, so it'll be a family. It won't be an organiza organi organism, organization. Mm -hmm you know, an institution, it's gonna be the family of God yeah. crying out for the bridegroom and all of a sudden the bride cries out and the father says, go get your bride. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. One of the things that the Lord has yeah. been showing to me about this year of, of mega shift too is that it's a shift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's gonna oh, have, yeah. have uh, yes. preeminence in this church again. It's gonna, gonna get his church back. Right. It's about what the Holy Spirit's doing. This Even when we talked about the Kenneth Copeland's prophecy, the Holy Spirit is doing things all over yeah. the world doing it all the time. We may not be seeing it, we're familiar with what the news is, is sharing, right. but God is moving in these countries in China and all over the world. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, and it's so important to understand, even when we put in the word the in front of Holy Spirit, instead of saying Holy Spirit, we don't That's say right. the Jesus, the yeah. God, because we gotta be, understand that he's a person, That's right. third part of a, of a Godhead, and when Jesus went to go be with the Father, he sent Holy Spirit. Now I just went over just recently, mm -hmm. and hopefully I on the program, over 43 uh, functions of what Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit does in the church and that we have to embrace him and we those who are led by the Spirit are sons of God not those who lead the Spirit that's right and so you know addressing him and one way we do this and we're fixing to talk about a little bit more but just acknowledge him he's here Acts chapter 17 says God's right there he's just waiting for you to reach out to him but begin to say this you know begin to say to, to hold say to Holy Spirit Holy Spirit I acknowledge you you're here I know you're here Teach me how to have a relationship with you. I know that Jesus sent you. I know that you're of the Father, that you come from the heart of God, and you are leading the church under the leadership of Jesus Christ, and I want to have a relationship Absolutely. with you. Another is to, to understand that you can offend, like you can offend a person. You can offend the Holy Spirit, and he can draw back. So you, all you have to do is just say, yeah. you know, forgive me for offending you. Maybe it was something you said, how you treated people harshly, you weren't kind, you weren't loving, or something like that. Understand, he will, he will kind of back up from that. Yeah. He's like real gentle. He's not a dove. They describe him as a dove. That's right. He's, he's a, a person. He's a person. In, between John 14, I mean John 14 through 16, Jesus yeah. refers to Holy Spirit as he himself yeah. over 19 times, right. you know? And so, person, you know, personality, he, he has a personality. <laughs> but right. the thing about the Holy Spirit, too, is that Jesus and the Holy Spirit were completely inseparable. And one of yeah. the ways that we believe that we have grieved him and offended him is by doing what God's called us to do, which is everything that we're doing, because it's right. all ministry, it's all love for God, in the works of our flesh, right. and not depending on Holy Spirit to empower not us, being to led teach by us, him. to yeah. train us. Doing it his way. Yeah, to guide us. And he, he's, so, he's, so, he's so important. 
You know, when you're baptized, you're baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Understand this, that this is what Jesus said. He says, you can talk about my daddy, mm. and you can talk about me, but if you talk the wrong way about Holy Spirit, watch out. You can have eternal consequences. He's very, he's awesome, he's relevant, he's the one that does the works of God, the miracles of God, the administration, different things that are going on is God. He's communicating through his spirit to us, and so begin to have a relationship with him, and you won't have to just catch what God's saying on VFN TV. VFN TV will be an amen to you, because Holy Spirit right. would have told you That's even right. more. Listen, we gotta go to this break. John, take us to the break, and what's coming up yes, next? Yes, listen, we get back from this break, we're gonna actually oh, continue. Questions. Oh, we wanna hear yes, from you. Yes, yes, but we're not done. We get back from this break, we're gonna be sharing some questions. more okay. about what uh, this word, has, uh, this prophetic word that God's releasing, yeah. and we're gonna give you the opportunity to make sure you comment below and let us know right, what part of this word bore witness with you? What, what is the Holy Spirit highlighting to you in your spirit yes. about what God is doing in 2019? This is so exciting. Don't miss it. We'll be joining us in a few. We'll be right back. We're so excited about our new book, I Will Fight Strategies for Your Success. You got to have a strategy and you got to fight. It's not about a physical fight, but you got to fight. And guess what? If you fight, you win. You'll be successful. This book is about transforming your thoughts, about what your beliefs, the decisions that you're making, about speaking, what you say is so powerful, and what you do, what you're saying, the actions you take. And quitting, don't quit. Listen, success and failure quite often is just five more minutes. And finally, think about this. So many people talk about you should do this and you should do this and you should do this and look what they're doing. They're not doing nothing. You can't let people tell you you should do this. You should. As a matter of fact, they can't be putting their should on you. This is so important. Listen, we want to bless you with your free copy of I Will Fight Strategies for Your Success. You can get it at vfnkb.com. That's vfnkb.com. Get your free copy today. Our role and responsibility is to really set the tone and direction of society and culture. I tell people all the time that the movement that was led by my father was a spiritual movement. It wasn't a civil rights movement. It impacted civil rights, but it was a spiritual movement and its assignment was to civil rights. The idea of authority in dealing with children has fallen into disrepute in recent years, and it's no wonder. For Family Talk, here's Dr. James Dobson. The moment you even use the word authority, there are people who mistakenly think you're referring to harshness and anger. They picture a father who rules with an iron fist, and when he speaks, everybody jumps because they're afraid not to. Properly defined, however, authority means respected leadership. And without respect for leadership, you have no leadership. And without leadership, you have anarchy, chaos, and very real danger. One day when our kids were younger, I remember watching their hamster run around his cage. He was gnawing on the bars and trying to lift the cage door, doing everything he could to escape. Then about five feet away, I noticed our little dachshund, Siggy, watching the hamster from the safety of the shadows. His ears were pointed straight up, and I knew exactly what he was thinking. Come on, baby, break through to freedom. I'll give you a ride you'll never forget. Now, if that little hamster had been so unfortunate as to achieve his desire for freedom, he'd been dead in seconds. You see, even loving discipline can seem like a cage to a child sometimes, but young children lack the perspective to see what awaits them beyond the bars. If you love your kids, lead them. You have the authority to take charge at home. Use it. Welcome back to VFN TV with your host, Greg Lancaster. You know, we're just continuing with this prophetic word. It's so encouraging. Yes. As a matter of fact, we just left the break. We were on number four, right? Number three. Number three. Number three and eight, this is, these are words that are given by? Uh, Apostle Guillermo Maldonado of King right. Jesus Ministry in Miami, I believe. Okay. Yes, yeah, so number three is a new economy is coming into you. Prophetically. It's a prophetic word. But receive it. These prof yes, when, receive when a prophetic it. word is released, it's the spirit of Jesus Christ. Prophet, the spirit of prophecy is receive it by faith and declare that over you. And as we've been talking on this program many times, right. blessed to be a blessing. This new economy is not for more things and stuff, but it's to, for us to continue to advance God's kingdom 
and share his love all over the world. Well, you know, John, the Lord's been really revealing that to me, you know, and I've, I spoke on the wealth transfer that's coming and why yes. it's coming. And we'll hopefully make that available to you somewhere you can find it at vfnkb.com. Yeah. But also at the beginning of my book, it's the reason why I wrote I Will Fight is because you need to position yourself for this new economy. You know, we need men and women of God who love God in every mountain of culture so that God can trust you with great wealth, a great influence, and you have to be prepared for that. It doesn't yeah. just automatically happen. So the whole uh, book I opened up with this, this prophetic dream God gave me about you know, God's whistle. God mm -hmm. has a whistle. He says he blows the whistle and he gathers the nations. And he said specifically that this, this whistle, God's whistle, is it, it's going to take diamonds, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, I was shaking a little bit. But then I just said, you know, in this, in this vision, I said, let, let there be diamonds. And diamonds just appeared right there on the bedspread. I gathered them, poured them down the whistle, and all of a sudden the world began to come. It's going to be a wealth transfer that brings in the harvest. Justice is going to come down on the evildoer. He's going to deal with the evildoer. But when that happens, a great release of resources. We're going to be able to go over all of them. We're going to have to close out in prayer right here. But listen, you can find out more, get the book, I Will Fight. But I want to pray with you right now. Father God, we just thank you for everyone that's watching and listening, God, that you would bring healing to their life, that you would shift the economy of their heart, Father God, and, and move past a poverty mentality and move into a place that can handle great wealth and great resources and great influence, God. And dear God, we ask you, in abortion, sin revival, sin a third great awakening. And I want to remind you how easy it is. How easy is it? Loving God, loving others, and leading others to do the same. God bless. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfnkb.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.